Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of February 3rd, already February. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah. Sitting across from me digitally, as always, is Alex. Hello. How are you, Alex? I am doing swell. It's been a busy couple swell. weeks. Yeah. Swell. I'll okay. go with swell. 1970s, yeah. sure. Yeah. It's been a busy couple weeks. We've had yeah. Blizzard talk. Get Bungie, all these things. So we're we're kind of having a a, a sort of new but not really regular show again. Mm-hmm. We've had to do like a lot of quick rapid fire emergency ones. This is kind of an this is uh, for everyone uh, to understand where we're at. This is a very light show. Not many news to go over. So we're just gonna gonna kind of talk over what's going on in our lives, what we're looking forward to. February, and we have a couple new stories to go over with very quickly, too. So, and before we get into the new stories, I though, I do like mm-hmm. to ask you a singular question every single week. But before I do that, just as a reminder, you can support us a number of ways. So, let's start with the free stuff. So, all the free things you can do to support us like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, all of that will help us tremendously. If you're on a podcast service, don't worry. Five-star review on whatever you're on. Spotify now does five-star reviews. So if you're on there, five-star reviews. Aside from that, you can go paid. Patreon.com slash You have multiple tiers that you can look at and subscribe to. Alex, mm. what have you been playing? We're getting right into it today. What have you been playing? Mm. Well, been playing the Uncharted Remaster. Okay. I'm about a third, maybe a little bit more of that all the is way through. I'm enjoying with it. This are you? Is this like a fun playthrough or whatever? Or are you a little like bit? If fun play specific. Yeah, fun playthrough and and collectibles because okay. I've played it before, so Even I have treasures. the yeah the yeah all the treasures. Yeah, because I didn't have any of I didn't have all the journals. I didn't have all the treasures. So I wanted to go ahead and just do all those. And Something I didn't it. even look into with this remake, mm-hmm. remaster, whatever. Mm-hmm. How how different does it seem? Like, is it very different? I didn't look into the game really at all, so I don't know. No, like, there's really no different. It just looks better. So, like, is it one of the things where it's like, it's in 4K now? Like, is that it? I mean, I guess it was in 4K when it launched. I mean, yeah, but it wasn't 60 frames. Like, I think this so, one is. So they got 60 frames. I think so. Because like, there's, the, the, there's the three different modes. There's Fidelity, which okay. is 4K 30. Then there's Performance, which is uh, 1440 at 60. Okay. And then there's, if you have a TV that can do 120, it's more 1080p. Uh, yeah, or monitor. It could do 1080 at 120. I'm at, which is like performance pro. I'm just at the regular performance because I don't, I mean, the 4K, it, you can tell a difference. But like, I can't stand the 30 frames. So I just like, I left it at 60 frames. Mm. And I mean, it runs great, feels great. I mean, I'm, I had, it's been so long since I've been back to Uncharted. So I'm enjoying it. Disappointing they couldn't get 4K at 60. I, 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 I don't took, understand why. I wonder if it took too much time or it was just too much money of what they wanted I mean, I to want, do. But I don't understand what the point of the 1080, 120 was. I mean, some people want 120. I completely understand I that. I get that on F- FPS game, but really on a third person? Fast. I don't know. I don't I, see. I don't, I don't, I wouldn't see a difference. Like, I looked at gameplay a little bit. Yeah. I. Didn't really see much of a difference. I'll have I'll have to play it to see if I yeah if I agree. Yeah, if you were able to, I haven't been able to try that. Yeah, I, I will I will try it. And I have a 120 frame TV, so I'll have to give it a whirl and see if it matters. I imagine it helps mm-hmm. a lot of the scenes where a lot is happening, which doesn't really happen to like the middle of the game. So maybe it's really good there. Very surprising though, they didn't mm-hmm. just get 4K. Yeah, 60. Yeah, I, I mean I I mean they, they I mean. No offense, Spider Man figured it out. So like, yeah, I mean, Naughty Dog, not really. So yeah, very curious to see why that is, but money probably. Yeah, um, but, but I've been so playing far, that. I've been playing you Pokemon. Like, you, I imagine you like it, right? No, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I okay. just I'm trying to get all the collectibles. I missed one so far, and I was like, so I was like, I'm gonna have to go do chapter select after I'm done. Yep. Anything else? Got, uh, did played some Pokemon. Um, I have actually went back to Destiny for a little bit, trying to do some and some stuff before Witch Queen. Yeah, yeah. You joined me. Mm-hmm. We are trying to knock some stuff out. We're almost done. So if mm-hmm. I can just keep you on the hook for a little bit longer before you run out, run away. Yep. We can get a lot of stuff done. Achievers, I don't know if you know out there, like, games like Destiny. There's always some seasonal thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm just trying to get him buff, like like so he understands Witch Queen a little better. Buff. Get- <laughs> 
I'm trying to get buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to get some things that are leaving, um, which is always yeah. unfortunate that when things leave. But um, uh, I'm I'm spending my time with Destiny as well, doing some last minute stuff. There's a lot of time before Witch Queen. I'm actually uh, this is getting really nerdy. Um, there's a TWAB coming out in any time now, and I can't wait to read it. <laughs> I fucking can't wait. I I promise. <laughs> so. Aside from that, uh, Pokemon Legends. Uh, I know mm-hmm. you've been playing this, Alex, as well. Yep. Um, I'm about like nine, ten hours in. I want to give my thoughts really quick. I am having really a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of surprised to say it, if I'm being completely honest. I did not know what to expect. I kind mm-hmm. of came in wanting to hate the game, if I'm being perfectly honest with the Achievers yeah. and also myself. Um, the trailers, uh, I think, are still bad looking. Um, the trailers did not show this game well. You cannot show things close up in this game because the Switch just does not look good. Mm-mm. The the Switch Don't looks good blow for it very up to a big TV, in my opinion. <laughs> the Switch looks very good in very particular situations and art styles. I would give Smash Brothers, um, uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, Super Mario 3D World games like that look great. Um, and you can do a lot, uh, a, a lot of interesting color contrasts and things like that mm-hmm. on the Switch when you do a more like animated style but when you do this and, you, and you're kind of doing like a cartoony lifelike environments and stuff it just does not look good so those trailers yeah. were really bad the game although it is really fun with the caveat um the environments are pretty bland um i, I the where i'm at mm-hmm. everything kind of looks the same and yep. it looks kind of Eh. like there's a lot of gray i guess is what i want to bring out like it's a lot of just kind of gray dirt okay so maybe there's maybe other environments that i'm about to go to i did just hit i don't think this is a spoiler if it is skip 10 seconds i guess but um i'm in the third area and it has water so i'm like okay there's water so i I get a little bit of a different environment but when i'm excited to see water i've i jumped and i died apparently (laughs) did you do that yeah, I, so going into like the second ish area, yeah. there's like you know the you you, know. you know when you're walking around, you see little little rivers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was like, can I swim across that? No, no, no. no. I will say, no, it, literally, you start doing the thing from Grand Theft Auto. You just start, yeah. Drowning. I will say, slight slight spoilers. I mean, this is first. I mean, five hours of the game. I mean, you get a mount for the game, um, and you can game this game really well. Um. Mm-hmm. So, if you ever get to a situation like that, Alex, and you, you can't hear me, you just took his mic off, so I don't know why, why I'm still talking. But Alex, if you ever I get into you. that situation where, like, you you think you can jump across a, a lake, get on Weird mm-hmm. Ear, full throttle, jump over, find, find like a cliff, you can clear those mm-hmm. rivers very easily. Interesting. Okay. I very much like that. And also, there's, <sighs> I want to talk about the game, but I don't want to spoil stuff. I, I there's a mechanic that's introduced. That I very much like. We could do a we could do a little po- spoiler cast in in the next couple of days. Maybe we'll yeah yeah. But yeah, there's a there's a thing that happens when you hit the the second area, mm-hmm. um, that makes Pokemon spawn and items spawn. Uh, people mm-hmm. who play the game will now understand what I mean. That is really cool and it's really fun because it's time limited and it's almost like a dash to like see what you can get while you can. It, yeah. That stuff is really fun too. So I'm excited to play more. I am. In the third area, and I've done. I guess I can't say that without spoiling. So I'm in the third area. Yeah. Um. Other than that, I mean, I finally I beat near. I did all the all. Uh, I did the main th- playthroughs that I needed to do. I enjoyed it. Oh yeah, no, I I yeah yeah. I definitely. I've seen you change. Crazy. Like, you went from not caring to I'll try this game out, and you got obsessed. And it's yeah. awesome to see. I love watching. Um. When you get like really into a game, you just fucking tear it apart because you tore that game apart. Yeah, um, I, in the matter I, of like a week. So yeah, very I impressed. put about forty hours into that game, and it yeah, was, yeah, and you enjoyed, right? Yeah, no, I, I enjoyed every second. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, but uh, I kind of dominated the Pokemon. I, I'm curious what you think. You're, you're early, I know you're earlier in the game. I'm early. But I'm still do, early. So think? I'm. I am enjoying it. It's pro- I've probably haven't enjoyed a Pokemon game like this since Let's Go, maybe. And I let's go. I was fine because it was just a redone of the. And I haven't played Pokemon in a while because yeah. I didn't really care for Sun and Moon. I didn't yeah. care for Sword and Shield. Yeah. I like I, 
So like it's been so a while. So having a a nice fresh start, it's interesting. Yeah, we've never really do, gotten a different Pokemon. I, this is different. I do catch myself though. Oh. Sometimes skipping dialogue. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, blame you. Yeah, because I'm like, I, it's I'm all like, nonsense. I'm like, come on, I just want to do some. Stuff. You want to catch Pokemon? You're, we're yeah. playing this to catch Pokemon. Like, yeah. like either you care about the lore or you don't. There's no in between. Yeah. So like, no, for sure. Either you're there. Like, I kind of like the lore. Um, I skim because... through just to get I get the keywords, and then I'm like, okay, I get it. I yeah. I like what they're doing with the two clans, and we talked about this prior, so I won't do it now because i actually mm-hmm. want people to experience figuring this out but the mm-hmm. things with the clans are really cool and their names i'm like okay that's kind of cool that's kind of cool mm-hmm. but kind of make things make sense like after the fact is is yep. something i really like uh but alex mm-hmm. let's get into the news yep only one rapid fire today it takes two developer haze light studios teams with dj2 entertainment to adapt the game for film TV. this is an exclusive from variety this is a rapid fire we're not going to go too deep into this but uh i skimmed through it it looks like it's a exclusive deal with them to make a film or tv show we don't know what it is mm-hmm. most likely it'll be adapted from the game obviously most, but like we don't they, know they, if they, it's going to be a film or tv yeah i feel like they'll have to do some type of live action thing because like if it's animated i mean that's the game so <laughs> Yeah, I I feel so like I don't you, know. I almost feel like you have to. I feel like you, you have to. Hmm, live. It would be cool if they do a, like a mix. So like they start it in live action, and then they go into more of the like animation more, thing. It gets more like yeah, and but they're still in their environments. But now right. it's I don't know. The game did a really cool thing. I guess they don't ever explain this, but like the game did a really cool thing of putting them in their own environment. Mm-hmm. But they kind of made the excuse of like magic, and they, mm-hmm. they never explained it. But they're like all the crazy stuff happened, like the Imagine waterfall if Tim of Burton balls got and this stuff. Thing. Ooh, we probably—I don't know if we want that. That sounds scary. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. End with the daughter being murdered or something. <laughs> like I don't, we don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, cool. Uh, get the bags yep. of money, Hazelight. Uh, good for you. Yep. Uh, this is rumor roundup now. This is reported on by Jason Schreier. I'm taking it as facts, but I wanted to throw in rumor roundup because technically it is not verified by um, Rocksteady. But Suicide Squad, the video game, is delayed until 2023, uh, according to it. numerous sources that he has and people close to the project. Um, he reported on it. I trust him enough to say it's delayed. So yeah. just waiting for confirmation at this point. Not shocked. Um, me and Alex briefly talked about this the other day. Uh, you have two pretty Batman centric titles coming around the same time. You might as well delay it, right? Even mm-hmm. assuming they needed the time, which I, th- I think they did. Um, even if they don't need the time, you you might still delay it just to get it away from each other. Away from um, each other, yeah. You get Gotham Knights, and then in like three months or four months, you get a Suicide Squad immediately. It's like, yeah, maybe we maybe we like push one out now. Hopefully this means Gotham Knights is good to go because if mm-hmm. Suicide Squad gets delayed, I don't think they're going to give Gotham Knights any more time. So I think, mm-hmm. uh, I think it's, I think Gotham Knights is sh- hopefully ready. And if it's not, it's fucking getting sent out. What do you think? Ah, uh, that's my, I mean, I'm kind of glad Suicide Squad got delayed. Cause I mean, I have, I still have a bad feeling that it's not going to be as good as everybody thinks. I okay. think it's going to be medio- mediocre type. It was like, oh, and, you know, it's it, it's fun for the first couple hours. I get the gist, and I think it's just going to get... I feel like that environment is going to get too repetitive, and now I when, hope they fix that. Now, when you say this, mm-hmm. is this motivated by something? Or is this like a gut feeling? Can you tell me it's what it is? Gut, is it's it a just trailer? A gut, that, that, I like, mean, it's a gut feeling, and yes, trailer, because we've, we've had... Have, we've had a gameplay trailer in a way. Okay. But it's it, it's not like hey we're gonna walk you through this little area. I feel like we just gotten so much CGI that they just uh, they are uh, CG trailers that we they don't uh, want to show the game. And I I just I don't know. It's a gut more of a gut feeling I guess. Okay. Uh, you thought you brought up an interesting point that we don't know what we're doing in the game yet. Yeah. Um, and I kind of agree with that sentiment now. What are we doing in the game? Is like, it a Far Cry 
checklist. Hey, there's a all there's they told a base us is that we're going out and killing the Justice League. What does that consist of? Yeah, yeah. So who knows? Maybe this is time that they needed to figure out what to do in the world. Who knows? I, I th- this was said as a games as a service, so that means there's an ever evolving chain of content that keep coming and coming. So, um, all right, we'll we'll come back to games as a service, whether they be <laughs> profitable or not later on. Speaking of games as a service, Ubisoft is shutting down its battle royale title Hyperscape. Whoo, Alex, what do you mm. think about that? This game ha- came out. Not surprised at all. A year and a half ago? Um, I remember we played it. It's one of those things where it's cool for a while, and then it's like, this sucks. Uh, Hyperscape was 2020, August 11th. Wow. So, uh, in this August this year will be two years, but yeah, so it's about a little bit over a year, a year and a half. Yikes. Well. It didn't, I mean... I they got what three seasons I think it was yeah I think I think yeah. they're on their third yeah it was um, mm, achievers mm. I apologize I did not grab the date the date for what when it comes when, when it's shutting it, down when they're t- it was shutting it down yeah I want to say it's um early next year uh, April twenty eighth twenty twenty two shit three so months. three months. <laughs> I'm sorry if anyone liked it. I, I I I imagine if it's that soon, no one's playing this game. No one. Yeah. That means no one is playing this game. They might have ten thousand people, maybe, probably something like that. So, wow. Ubisoft I mean, tried. They're... They tried. They keep trying with these Fortnite games, and they're gonna they're gonna keep throwing and see if they can stick. Yeah. I mean, maybe they'll notice and be like, hey, yeah, let's not go into this field and actually worry about making a good game. Hmm. Mm. You know they have a problem let's, with let's making change. the same thing over and over again. Let's, I guess let's change their, some stuff around. I guess this is their uh, problem. The one game that they made different was just really bad. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Uh, this kind of invokes something. What do you think is in store for the future of Ubisoft? Just as a quick no, you don't have to think too much about this. But when I think I Ubisoft like right now, just... I get I get confused. If I'm being perfectly honest, so we had Far Cry Six, right? It was a good game, not for me. It seemed like people liked it. Um, mm-hmm. I just, I can't. I played just too many Far Cry, so I just couldn't get into it. it. Yeah, it's good again. Um, two, Assassin. I mean, they Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, of Creed. course, is is my next thing I want to bring up. Where's that at? Are we getting this ancient trilogy again? Is there going to be a completely different spin on things with something else? Is there? I mean, and they, they, like, there's so there, many different things oh, that could, that can happen, and then we know that there's a Splinter Cell game coming. So, yeah. like, when does I think, that come? Like, I don't know because I, I, I don't think. Do you think there'll ever be a Division Three? I think that's gone, right? Because they they tried that Division Heartland or Division something. Well, they have they announced what you said, or is that Ghost Recon is, Heartland? I can't remember what it is. No, Division Heartland is a thing. Okay, okay. Um, they did that, and that I comes mean, out that, in April, I believe. I mean, I guess they're going to try to see where that, yeah, how that comes leads. out in April at, at, at the soonest. This is via GameSpot. Uh, this was announced in an earnings call October 28th. Um, yeah, this is when they uh, delayed a bunch of stuff. So, Heartland, Rocksmith Plus, and Prince of Persia, Sands of Time remake. We're all pushed to the next fiscal year. So that just means 2022, 2023, like the, the fiscal year of that. So that, that could be anywhere between April to March of, of this year and next year. So pretty broad, but yeah. Heartland is... I mean, honestly, I don't think they're focusing on... They're going to just put that out and then just do DLC because they're still coming out with DLC for Assassin's Creed. I mean, we're getting that big Ragnarok DLC next month. So, I don't I don't know. I don't... I wonder if maybe they from they seeing that Far Cry 6 didn't... Maybe... They, I don't know if it... I, I don't know how well it did. I don't think they really said. Yeah, so... We like, should be if getting an earnings call from them soon. If it didn't do that well... They might take a break from Far Cry, and if not, they might probably just do the same thing what they did with Five, and then there's going to be like some colon one. Um, 
And then Assassin's Creed, they're doing DLC. I don't know when the next game would be. They were talking about that Assassin's Creed, uh, what was it, uh, Infinity thing, where it was supposed to be like... Isn't that the one where it's kind of like a games as a service, wasn't it? Like some can, you, can you ask the question? The Assassin's Creed game that was supposed to be like a ga- uh, live service game. The Assassin's Creed Infinite Leak. Yeah. Yes. I yeah, wonder that, if that's that even was, still That was going to be like a giant Assassin's Creed world where like it's going to be like, it sounded like basically Halo Infinite. <laughs> yeah, I don't like, even like, think it's like, this is anymore. like Assassin's Creed for the next 10 years. Like, did you fucking just take Halo Infinite's thing and just put assassins in it? <laughs> <laughs> is it, uh, uh, that's one of the things where I'm like, whatever. Um, yeah. All I got, by the way, really quick. Um, uh, the Far Cry Six sales seem to not hit uh, expectations because analysts cut their fiscal year operating profit forecast by 13, percent which is a pretty big deal. Um, hmm. because they were concerning on how much it was selling. Okay, so, so meaning not it's, that well. So it it probably did fine. Which is it not what fine. you want. You want you want no. good. You don't want like. I don't fine. think. I don't think Far Cry sold above fine since maybe five because wasn't five, Far Cry five pretty popular? Yeah, Far Cry five sold pretty well. Okay, yeah. I think it topped the charts. I think it came out. Yeah, because so five like was yeah. Charts night. Yeah, five was pretty well. New Dawn was fine. But but yeah, I, I mean, aside from yeah. that, um, I just wanted to bring up. I don't know. They're a question mark for real now, and I have to be frank here. They've kind of had a fallen from grace, really. They were kind of the, uh, they were, they were, they were one going of the up cards. there to be like the golden boy um, mm-hmm. when they announced like Beyond uh, Good and Evil, which, where the fuck is that? Skull and yeah, Bones. Me, like that, like, I know this is a long time ago, but they when they were announcing all this stuff, like they were at the top. Like People were really enjoying Ubisoft games. Far Cry, uh, f- that should have been around Far Cry 5, like a couple, yeah, like roughly around that time. Like, when they mm. were doing all that, like, we loved them. I did. And yeah. they released Rainbow Six Extraction. Like, what? what? I, who, did, does anyone want this? Is anyone even playing that right now? Achievers, really. Anyone listening to this right now, leave a comment, please. Tell me if you're playing Extraction. Did you like that? I, I have not heard a single person say, I liked that and had fun, and I'm going to play it over and over again. That No, not, no offense to, like, video game people, but just didn't get it for free. Like, I don't care. Like, like for as an analytical perspective, like I don't care if you enjoyed it. I I want to see like did the people who spent sixty bucks enjoy it? So, yeah, I'm curious if 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 you bought the game, leave a comment below or tweet at us. Um, did you enjoy it? It does not seem fun. Like I've seen I, Twitch streams I play, and I, I was watching and I was like, this doesn't look fun. And I was like, Neh. this does not look fun. This looks yeah. like a um. This looks. I mean, I mean, Alex. It kind of looks like Back for Blood, just with Rainbow Six skins on, right? Is it just me or? It's more to it than that. Okay, it's it, it's, it's actually different. I should have I should have prefaced with like the actual like combat and zombies, like that the zombie part. Like I saw like a weird wart thing that like someone was shooting. So I was like, that mm-hmm. looks just like the Back for Blood thing that we shot. <laughs> It's gross. It it has its similarities, but it it's kind of different at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Well, time will tell what's going yeah. on with Ubisoft. Let's get into the actual news for the week. Just in case you missed it, by the way, Sony has acquired Bungie. I would uh, point you to our YouTube or any podcast feed. Go watch our whole video just talking about mm. that acquisition, what our thoughts were. Um pretty proud of myself seems like you and i got most of the stuff right because they've kept talking about this acquisition and what it means bungie has mm-hmm. now just outright said very specifically this is because of movies <laughs> like they've, they're being very clear like yeah. this is why playstation what i'm about to read has been very clear the reason they bought them was for games as a service let's go over to the news story so playstation has detailed his plans detailing somewhat the future of their games will have. But during an earnings call, Sony CFO Yaki Todoki, I think I did pretty well, went to say the following quote, quote, through close collaboration with Bungie, and this is a long one, so strap in, but okay. this all delivers important context, I think, to start this conversation. I'll be right back. Through I'll close collaboration with Bungie, go ahead, with Bungie and PlayStation Studios, we aim to launch more than 10 live service games by the fiscal year ending March 31st, 2026. The strategic significance of this acquisition lies not only in obtaining the highly successful Destiny franchise, 
as well as the major new IP that Bungie is currently developing, but also in co incorporating into the Sony group the expertise and technologies that Bungie has developed in the live game services space. We intend to utilize these strengths when developing game IP at the PlayStation Studios as we expand into the live games service area. N quote. Achievers, really? Let's really think about this. PlayStation Studios, the people who made God of War, Last of Us Part 2, Last of Us 1, they have all these studios that specialize in these first, uh, these, th sorry, these third person action over the shoulder story driven games aim to launch more than 10 live service games by 2026 that is ambitious to say the least in the next four years they will have 10 live service games wow and they say play uh they say playstation studios so that means in-house their studios will be making live service games there'll probably be some collaborations with other studios maybe some third-party support even but that means there are 10 live service games coming that is pretty incredible and dare i say i mean i don't know what i don't know what numbers they're saying on their side but i would i i would i fear this 10 live service games that sounds like prime eating yourself territory. Classic mm -hmm. snake allegory. You're eating your own tail going in a circle. Um, Alex, I just kind of detailed this quote that we were given by the Sony CFO. They plan to launch more than 10 live service games by 2026. That is in four years. This is That's clearly nuts. the reason why they bought Bungie now. This is now, without a doubt, this is the mm -hmm. reason they bought them. $3.6 billion now means nothing when you're throwing 10 live service games out there. Who the fuck knows? You might get a Fortnite. And then, you're, mm -hmm. then you've made billions of dollars. So they don't care. But what I, I want to ask you, Alex, is... <sighs> I mean, I don't even want to ask you. Is there a specific thing you want to hit at this? My mind immediately goes to that 10 live service games and how that's going to be even possible. But what do you think? I mean, I... <laughs> If they're trying to do 10 live service games, I mean, are, are, do you think those games are just going to be too rushed? I mean, like... Four years. Unless they're, work, unless they're working on them so now. I'm, I am pretty confident they're working on at least four games right now. Sucker Punch is making a standalone multiplayer game. Uh, Sony... I mean, Naughty Dog, of course, is working on factions. That I just feel like that's probably over the a live four service years. Game. I just feel like it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be too much because remember, we had in the last couple of years. I mean, we've had so many battle royales ever since Fortnite. Uh, I mean, Hyper like I, and we just talked about. I, yeah, I mean, I feel like we're just. <laughs> I feel like we're just over battle royales. I mean, are we going to feel well, the same way with life service games? Well, that's a good point. Yeah, you can only take so many. You got to play this for 300 hours to really experience the game, right? Yeah, I, I talk about that thing every week. That is not a casual game to go play. You And also, it's barely free to play. Like, you got to buy stuff. You have to devote a lot of time to that game. Mm -hmm. A lot of people can't do that. So I'm curious on what numbers they see that 10 live service games all coming from you yourself means profit because you know that you know it, you know this did not come around that the end goal isn't we make a lot of money now when so the, i'm curious if if like if they're like eh, if two fail yeah eight more like is that is, is it like buckshot approach where you're like fucking 10 games let's see who gets what, like a really good one a out of those 10 games even if we get half of a fortnite that's fucking 1.5 billion dollars maybe we get a grand theft auto 5 like who knows so that's what i wanted to bring up like how do you manage 10 live service games all at once within a four-year period and have it a cohesive environment for your own games i mean could live service games be with okay so like uh like as we see live service games have been its own thing like for like, i'm gonna use destiny as an example yep. you know it's a live Destiny's service game destiny. the story itself is the game itself yeah could you see it going the other way where let's say a game has its own single player and then its multiplayer is the live service sounds game? like you're describing ghost of shima Ghost yeah, Shima so they had like, a single yeah, player game. Legends. A couple weeks later, they announced Legends, which is a whole ass multiplayer with a raid in it. Yeah, it was wild. 
So I think clearly Sucker Punch is making a Legends game. I think I think that's not obvious. Okay. So that's one of your ten. Naughty Dog's making Factions. That's another one. Do you think, do you think Factions will be a live service game? Uh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. 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 I just what I never played the original be? Factions, so I don't know what it is. Oh. I, all I can think all I can think about as Factions, I could I all I can think about is just multiplayer and you guys are just shooting each other I yeah don't there's know there's unique there's unique aspects to it uh i would butcher it if i tried to describe it to you now because i've i only know it if you remember uh our mm. emic Watkins jr e was it e3 the year before last or something like that where we talked about um factions and we asked him questions like what do you, you know is this popular and what even isn't he brought up like yeah no it's unique like you had to like revive people and stuff and yeah, like there were there's, things it's, that it's you had to scavenge and shit in it so it's hmm. it is a unique gameplay mode but i do think it will be a live service title in a small l sense like i don't think this is going to yeah. be like a it's not destiny i'm just saying it's going to be a game that yeah. comes out that has multiple modes it has probably events it has probably a cosmetic shop clearly probably will you'll probably buy hmm. ellie with her arm broken skin i don't know whatever there will be skins have no doubt about that no doubt about that at all um then we have uh the rumors of gorilla co-developing something with someone which is probably a first person shooter we have rumors of um let's get an infamous one infamous live service really yeah i mean uh, okay so for like I can see a destiny so, like infamous. I mean, like for example, in Infamous Second Sunny, I know there's a bunch of conduits. I think that's the right word. Conduits of all the people yes. that have like powers and shit that's, like that. Well, conduits is like the thing I think you use and get, and it will give someone powers. I think. Oh, okay. Well, whatever they're called, like the people who have abilities, don't they have certain names? It's been a long time I since know. I played Infamous. Superheroes. Let's just call them that. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm thinking like maybe like they'll be in that world and we can. Will be one of them will create our own character that have a certain ability and almost right itself. DC, uh, Universe yeah. Online, almost right, like yeah. just kind of yeah, pretty much have a have have infamous second sons, but in uh classes like uh, have the rock, have the neon power, have the electricity, have the fire, you know. Yeah, um, infamous second sons powers is like it, like that game's disturbance almost writes itself. I think, um, I think we are definitely going to see a return to SOCOM. I, I think SOCOM mm. is probably coming it really our way. So they need they need a one of the, I mean, there's gonna be an FPS on here. So is it gonna be a resistance? Is it gonna be a SOCOM? Is it gonna be a kill zone? Who who knows? Probably none of those. It might be something new. Probably not. But ten life service games, I'll be I'm be shocked if that doesn't just eat eat, eat themselves because yeah, we've seen over the years all these companies try and it doesn't I really can work see out. Like five, but uh, ten? I don't know, man. Yeah, ten. And uh, Alex, I I want the achievers kind of put a tinfoil hat on there. This kind of tells you what happened a, c- a couple years ago. Remember the giant PlayStation Exodus that everyone experienced? Sean Layden left. You know, people mm-hmm. like John Drake left. Uh, Shuya Yoshida was demoted to indie studios. Uh, I mean, kind of tells you that the people at the top said, "Hey, I want live service games," and the people who want who left were like, "No, we're not going to do that." And they were like, "Well, <laughs> leave," and they left. Yep. So, I th- I think this is now pretty clear what happened there. <sighs> Alex, hmm. before we move on. What's like your number one live service Sony game? What's one you want? I I, I want to know. Like get you, get crazy. I don't care. You don't have to be. If you want one realistic and one fucking pie in the sky, okay. I want it. You you need to tell me. If you want, I'll go first. Um, go ahead. you actually stole my idea. I was gonna I was gonna bring up Infamous, but DCUO, but um, a lot more customizable powers or something, or maybe um. I don't know. There's a lot of cool ideas there. Like you have one electricity subclass and you have one neon subclass because that was a really cool ability in that game. Uh, the rock subclass at the end, the game that you got. Like there's a bunch of different things. So it was all really cool. But do you have one off the top of your head? Uh, 
I I mean I thought I mean I thought of Infamous. I I can't honestly like. I think a majority of these are actually gonna be new ideas. I mean, so I was gonna I don't think. Of, I mean, I could see the Last of Us factions, but I don't want. I want it as its own thing. Like I think there's actually I think it's a game as a service coming out. That's not even. It's it's called the day before. It's, it's imagine division mixed with Last of Us. And I'm actually excited to play that. The I day before. Try it. Yeah, it's called the day before, and it, imagine it's just a gameplay, and it looks like division. You're like, it looks like uh, an post-apocalyptic New York or whatever, like like Last of Us, but it plays like division. Like you have gear, you're running around doing the like, collecting stuff, but it look like the environment, everything is like you know you're fighting zombies. Everything looks like Last of Us, but the gameplay is division, and I was actually excited for it. It looks interesting. I saw it when they were showing off uh, the DLSS for uh, NVIDIA. Yeah. And it, it's one of those games that's on my radar. Like what I, like how Maneater was, it's, a, it's on my radar for it because I mean, it looks interesting. Achievers, if you look on your screen right now, you're on YouTube. Sorry, audio listeners. We're just looking at a quick thing. That's yeah. something crazy. But if you look at your screen... I'm gonna quickly show a little bit of and the game. Yeah, and it looks so like this is I mean, it's the just the day like, before, and this is just the trailer yeah. on Steam. Mm-hmm. And they're showing the DLSS. This, is, this looks like pretty the, cool. It looks like a it, the day before. This is on their Steam page. The day before is an open world MMO survival set in. Sorry, it's cut off by f- in a deadly post-pandemic America, overrun by flesh hungry infected and survivors killing each other for food, weapons, and cars. Very curious if they added post-pandemic. <laughs> Yeah, the extra oomph. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, this kind of. I mean, look it, cool. it looks like it looks like Division, but like it's set it's in very a world, like of like of Last of Us. And, oh, like, that's cool. So, that's a cool set. Yeah, right like there, the mall. Yeah, like it's like, like all mall, very clean. That, like Dead that Rising. right there reminded me of Division right there, and then they started yeah. adding like you're fighting. It looks like other people, like factions or something. And then, then I mean, uh, then you also have you know zombies and stuff to worry about. So I'm like. This one looks interesting to me. I want to try this out. Yeah, so. it looks pretty cool. I, 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 I mean, haven't heard of it, so that's cool. I, I mean, I don't know. The craziest one I can think of? I don't know, man. Um, <laughs> fuck it. Uh, in the world of the uh, mythology, like God of War or something, I have my own demigod or some there shit. You go. Yeah, I don't you know, make man. your own demigod and go jump around. That's fine. I was just curious. Like I can, I could be at Olympus, or I can, you know, be in Midgard, and I, and like my, my journey is to get to Valhalla, and then I can create my own like Viking. I mean, I'm sure they have games like that, but I don't know. Yeah, you thought you know that. PlayStation, cool. you know, pl- with the PlayStation. I want it with the PlayStation thing on it. You know, it's PlayStation Studios on it. I think. How I about wanna, I want to be little how, big planet guy? How around. about I think I'm blow your mind right now. Grand Theft Auto style. No, I want to be able to kill a, a knapsack hooker of that guy. Oh God, you're gonna. It's gonna be weird, and I don't know how they would do it. Okay. But a Bioshock World one. So a games as a service Bioshock game. Yeah, like you know, you're you're there, okay. but there, you, uh, I don't know how it would. I don't know how it would work. It would work. Okay, like you, just maybe Bioshock it was. Open. Maybe it was. Maybe you're at Rapture before it got all fucked up, okay. and. I don't. I don't remember the lore, so I don't know how this works. But like, were Big Daddies a thing? Like, where everybody when yeah. everything before went crazy, was there Big Daddies around and stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay, so like, I mean, you'll see those around. But like before it went crazy, like, er, and everything's all fucked up when you went in the first game. Like, <laughs> okay. when it lo- it looks like more of a uh, luxurious place. Yeah, I don't know. Jeeves, what do you think? Put it, put us your crazy ideas in the below, and put or put some rational ones that you think actually might happen. I mean, stay in that marble one. St- st- stick, <laughs> sticking with PlayStation. Uh, let's very quickly go over the the Sony Q3 calls. Um, PS5 shipped 3.9 units of hardware. Lifetime total is now 17.3 million. 11.3 million units of first-party software sold. Digital software ratio is 62 percent. 48 million PlayStation Plus subscribers, 111 million monthly active PlayStation users, users, um, and PlayStation 5 is currently tracking roughly 3 million units behind PS4. So, they have fallen behind. But, important context, 
PS4 was not in the middle of a pandemic and also in a chip shortage. So still pretty impressive that they're able to basically keep pace with PS4 mm-hmm. um, very closely. Um, and this is also just a quick note. Uh, both Switch and PlayStation had to lower their estimate chips for the year. So could they, they thought they obviously when they first announced the units that they were going to ship out were probably a little more confident that the ship shortage would be figured out. It has not been. So they are not confident anymore. So they lowered their units by a good, a good couple million each. Um, I think Switch was the biggest one they dropped. It was like from like a few million down. This is a quick one because I don't really want to talk about it. Microsoft plans to build, quote, the next internet, end quote. Um, and when detailing the plans, the, their CEO, Satya Nadella, went on to speak about how he believes the metaverse might exist. He wants to make a big internet playhouse thing where, like, we all have avatars and run around. Cool. That, that, that was being reported on a bit. I wanted to bring it up really quick. I don't have any care about metaverse stuff, Alex. If you have something to input, you can really quickly. But I don't give a shit about any of this. I literally got back onto Facebook and I don't even use it. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't like the metaverse and like being on in social things, like like with the Xbox, the new internet. Like, I didn't. <laughs> did it wasn't? Isn't there like a PlayStation version of that? Like, it's like it's like there's like a some type of chat room thing where there's. there's I remember seeing on PlayStation. There's like a, a little. I guess app or game and it's like you're running around and you're like your own you're your own little avatar and you're socializing with everything. Sounds like you were describing PlayStation Home on the PS3. Is that what that is? Is that what you're talking about? Maybe. Let me see. Look up PlayStation Home. PlayStation Home was basically fucking metaverse before this. So if you if for the achievers at home so I can visualize for people who are listening, PlayStation Home was literally yes, what the metaverse is, is when people talk about it. So this is you it. made an avatar, you can Beg, have them wear stuff you had an apartment like you had a mm-hmm. place to put things you, you had a tv and things you could walk outside there was a little plaza that other people were walking around in uh there was a movie theater you could go in and they would show different things like uh it said it's back online last year that's not true that's um, not true no PlayStation oh, okay. home is not on okay um oh you're probably thinking of the people who got the servers to work. Thanks to the Destination they, Home team working on tandem yeah. with the PS1 emulator, so, PS Home is back online. They, this 20, they made yeah. their own servers with a computer, I believe, and okay. were able to get PlayStation Home on it. And now they are they have the game working or yeah. some some very complicated. It is not back up online achievers. <laughs> it is not. Um, just a group yeah. of people were fucking around and got it to work. Um. But yeah, that I mean, that's what it was before any of this stuff was. So uh, it wasn't popular back then. Maybe it'll get more popular later. I don't care about the metaverse stuff. All this stuff just sounds, yeah. frankly, pretentious. And I, I want to see more before I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to, to make some sort of big titty anime lady run around in this metaverse, whatever. Yeah, give me good story game contents like Last of Us and God of War instead of this. Yeah, the the CEO guy was like in his interview. I didn't put it all here because I just don't want to talk about it. But he was like, "Oh, I'm oh, I, I oh, he named off like the metaverse stuff. He's like, we've been doing all this in games already, so we can like start making metaverse stuff." And I'm like, "Oh my god, I think you're I think you're missing missing the point." Yeah. Alex, that's the news for the week. We got a couple date updates and a couple updates to your favorite subscription services. We'll start with the big one. MLB The Show 2022 was announced coming day one to Game Pass. April 5th is when it's coming out. You can pre-order now on both PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Nintendo Switch for the first time. So you can play it on a Switch. This will come with cross progression and cross save. Very impressive. They will be uh, making all their little MLB The Show 2022 games cross save and cross progression. So if you buy two titles, you'll be able to save your progression. Pretty cool. I I hope to see more games do this. That is the big one. Let's go into what you can see on Game Pass. Then we're going to go into the PS Now games for the month. So for Game Pass this month, we have on February 3rd, we had Contrast. This is um, actually uh, the people who made 
Fuck, what was that game called? Ah, Achievers. I'm sorry, I don't remember. But uh, this was the first game made by Compulsion Games, who made a We Happy Few. There we go. Uh, this is Cloud and Console, February 3rd. Explore a dreamlike, bad villain world of uh, 1920s in which you can shift freely in and out of the shadows. This looks kind of cool. I might actually try this. Dreamscaper, Cloud Console PC, February 3rd. Telling Lies. This is actually something I've been looking at. Cloud Console and PC. This is an idea at Xbox Tiles, uh, February 3rd. Besiege, this is game preview, Kyle Console and BC, ID at Xbox. Besiege is a physics building game where you construct war machines to obliterate fortresses. That looks good. Crossfire X, this is the game I want to play. So February 10th, I want to try this. Available day one in Game Plus. Play the first Crossfire X single player campaign, Operation Catalyst. Develop in partnership with Remedy. Take control of a global risk unit as they traverse through enemy territory to save their captured teammate and uncover the dark secrets of the Blacklist Mercenary Edge of Eternity, Cloud Console, PC, ID at Xbox, February 10th, available day one with Game Pass, wage epic turn-based battles as you follow Darian and Selene on their quest to find a cure to the all-consuming corruption, corrosion in this grand tale of the hope and sacrifice. Created by a small team of passionate JRPG lovers, Skull, the Hero Slayer, Cloud Console, PC, ID at Xbox, February 10th, Skull is a fast-paced action roguelite where losing your head is encouraged. Featuring 100 playable characters, each with their own unique abilities and ton of items that can create wild synergies. The battles are as electrifying as they are challenging. Pretty cool picture for you. The Last Kids on Earth and the Staff of Doom Cloud Console PC February 10th. Battle hordes and zombies and monsters in The Last Kids on Earth and the Staff of Doom. A semi-open world action RPG that tells a new story in the post-apocalyptic town of Wakefield. Playing as teenage teen, teen survivors Jack, Quint, June, or Dirk. You'll explore zombie-infested streets on your quest to stop Malandre, a powerful adversary, from obtaining the Staff of Doom. Ark Ultimate Survivor Edition Cloud Console and PC ID at Xbox February 14th. Experience everything that the Ark franchise has to offer with the Game Pass in the Definitive Edition. Tame and Ride Premium. Why am I blanking on this word? Primeval creatures as you explore your savage lands, team up with other players to compete in epic tribal battles, and travel together on their greatest dinosaur field adventure of all time. Infernax, cloud console and PC ID at Xbox February 14th, available on day one Game Pass. Infernax is the adventures of a great knight who returns to his homeland only to find it plagued with unholy magic. While on your quest to find and destroy the source of this corruption by enemies necessary, you'll face ruthless creatures, dangerous beasts, and precarious terrains. Now, quickly, leaving on February 15th. Reminder, save 20% when you buy these games before they leave on February 15th. So you, when, when this goes live, you'll have about 10 days to, to, to buy these if you want to keep them. Control Cloud Console and PC. Code Vein Cloud Console and PC. Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. I might actually have to get that. Cloud Console and mm -hmm. PC. The Medium Cloud Console and PC. Project Winter, Cloud Console and PC, and The Falconeer, Cloud Console and PC. Look with the PS Now titles for the month. We have Grand Theft Auto Vice City Definitive Edition. It's out now on PS Now. Very impressive, but that is only until May 2nd. So if you want to play Vice City, jump on PS Now. Little Big Workshop, Through the Darkest of Times, and Death Square. I will very quickly read... We all know what Grand Theft Auto is. Through the darkest time, you're the leader of a small resistance groups in 1933's Berlin. In the historical resistance strategy game, your goal is to deal with small blows to the regime, dropping leaflets to spread awareness, blah, blah, blah. Getting together with a loved one. This is Death Squared. Getting together with a loved one, a group of friends, or even a whole family and guy team. God, this is a terrible website. Of two or four robots through increasingly complex levels to their color-coded goals. But beware, the path through each level is littered with cunning death tracks that quickly send the automatons to the big scrapyard. Sky. That. There we go. Achievers, that is your date updates for February 3rd. Thank you so much for listening to this much into the video. Remember, you can comment below your thoughts throughout the show. If you have a comment or some sort of concern you want to convey, you can do that for free on our YouTube comments. Or you can get onto the show with DMing us on Patreon, patreon.com slash Achievers. That is an exclusive perk you get for only supporting a dollar. That's pennies a day. A dollar a month supports us in our dreams to one day flock into the skies and become the favorite influencer? That's not the word I want to use. 
maybe some sort of game analytic or game head talk head don't they have don't they, i think they call the uh football people the uh the the talking heads i think that's what they call them. talking heads when uh, like news shows and things they're called talking mm. heads maybe we'll be one of those talking heads and flock into the sky beautifully Remember, mm-hmm. you can, of course, stick free if you do not have the financial means to support us or just don't want to. You can YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Podcast service, whatever you're listening on, five-star review. That helps us tremendously as well. Tells other people that you like the show. On that note, Alex, there's a way mm. I start this show. I ask one question, and I like to end the show just like I started it with one question. Alex, what do you have queued up for the week? And this is, of course, in... Question for the achievers is, oh, what do you have queued up? Mm. This is, of course, a TV show, a video game, some sort of movie or book, comic book, novel, anything. Please, what do you have queued up? Um, going to play more Uncharted and Pokemon, of okay. course. Yes. I will be playing Destiny with you, of course. Yes. Because yes, you, you got me so I can finish that. We're almost done, too. Almost done. Almost done. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm just waiting on Dying Light and Witch Queen. And of course, you know, we have uh, everything else for the end of the month. Right, right, right. I'm also waiting for Dying Light. Witch Queen uh, can't come fast enough. I'm hoping as soon as I hit end on this video, there's going to be a twab mm-hmm. that I can read. <laughs> um, you and these twabs. What? You, I said you and these twabs. Amen. This is exciting, all right? It's like a little Christmas, because the, the whole game is changing. Whole game. Okay. It's like getting a whole new game. game. Like, there's, oh, these, oh, what weapon's going to be good? Oh, okay, it's this weapon. Let's all get it. You know what I mean? You I, don't. I, I, I'll try. I'll try. You to don't know what, what I mean. mean. I'm very upset with you. You're very upset with me. I am. Mm, Achievers, okay. thank you so much for listening to this video. I cannot go- wait to get back to what I've been doing. I'm going to go play some more Pokemon. I'm going to go play some more Destiny. I need to fl- solo flawless a couple dungeons before the season ends because we're stupidly overpowered. So I need to do that. <laughs> Until the next time we see you, though, remember, go achieve. Go achieve.